Well, it's been quite a week here in Nashville, hasn't it? First, voters overwhelmingly rejected that so-called community transit plan by a vote of two to one, just as I predicted. Thank you very much. Then the mayor took back a promised 3% pay raise for police and others because of a revenue shortfall, even though the city is growing rapidly, should be taking in lots more property taxes, and the police department isn't. Then we learned from our friends over at Channel 4 that millions of dollars that was supposed to help flood victims from the 2010 flood was diverted instead to help build the Riverfront Amphitheater so Live Nation could put on big concerts. Now, what's this? The mayor wants to pay a developer $25 million to build an eight-story high-rise for the homeless? But wait, there's more. The developer would also get an acre of land to build another residential unit free of charge. Is this another one of those community ideas? When I'm mayor, we're going to have real solutions, real community plans to deal with these challenges like school safety, traffic, potholes, flooding, the homeless, and more. We're going to stop taking more and more of the people's money and giving it to giant corporations so they can build even more in downtown Nashville, giving them land and money to do it with, and leaving us without enough money in the bank to do the things we're supposed to do well and pay the people who we expect to do it well. I'm running for mayor to be your first truly independent, nonpartisan, open government, fiscally responsible mayor, first that you've seen in a long time anyway. Early voting is already underway downtown. It will start elsewhere on May 11th. I ask for your support and your vote. Please follow me on Facebook and Twitter in order to keep up with the campaign. And as always, please share this with your friends. Thank you.